if there were no historical Adam and Eve, what implications would this have for the doctrine of the fall, original sin, and why Jesus died? That's a wonderful question. And of course, that's going to particularly need to be filtered through the Romans 5 passage where Paul makes the analogy as in Adam all die, so in Christ all are made alive. Uh, I think that it is possible, because I, I played with this a lot, a sense that I have is that Paul thinks Adam's a real person and that there are a number of ways that you can see evolution going on and God making a special creation of Adam and Eve. And they're the test case. This is where it happens and is determined. Uh, is it possible that Paul could have thought of Adam not as a historical person and still made the analogy he does in Romans 5? I think he could have, that he could have been picking up on a literary story. I don't think that's what he's doing, but I think it's possible. And the issue really comes down to the fact that all of us keep sinning. And so we do need salvation. And whether Adam is an archetypal story and not a real person, it picks up on our sin nature and says, this is something common to everybody. So it wouldn't really do away with that. But my concern first, I think, is what happens in Romans 5 and what Paul's doing. But I do want to be emphatic about something. If we're going to make the, I mean, if we're going to conclude from Scripture that Adam and Eve are not real people, that's something independent of evolution. It's not evolutionist that tells us that tells us that. Like that that's for certain. There's no way there's no scientific method I know of by which to rule out that God took two people in our distant past and did this. I mean there's just no way. That doesn't mean it happened. I mean science is just silent at this point. And so I do have a problem with people acting as if this is the challenge of evolution. That has, this has nothing to do with evolution. If that, that change is going to be made, that has to come on its own, independent of evolution, without the authority of science. You know, and if that's going to be made, you know, and you can make a good case for it, I mean, so be it. But that's, like, once again, it's not because of evolution, I would, I would say emphatically. 